In this video, I'm gonna show you the new Envelope Manager in Reaper 7.1. This is a newer feature that's been added to Reaper 7.1. So if you're using an older version, you're not gonna have this functionality. So to get to the Envelope Manager, we can go to one of our tracks and hit this button. Then the Envelope Manager shows up where we can manage our envelopes or the automation on our tracks. As we can see by default, there's volume, pan, width, volume prefix, pan prefix, width prefix, trim volume, and mute. And we can make them active, visible, and armed right here. For volume, pan, and let's do mute. Now we can see their envelopes down here. And we could hide them by clicking them again. We could also use keyboard shortcuts for volume by typing V, pan by typing P, and hitting it again to close those envelopes. But you notice the envelope manager closed when we did that. If we don't want that, we could right click over here and turn off auto close window when focus switches away. If we turn this off and we show our envelopes, we could draw on them like this and it doesn't close our window. Now this window has been revamped compared to earlier versions. So it's a lot easier to work with and clearer to manage. Let's delete these envelopes and let's write in some automation. Let's do volume, pan, and mute again. We could change this to write mode. And now if we hit play, our envelopes are writing automation. Because each envelope is active, visible, and armed. If we don't want that behavior, we could disarm any of them. Let's disarm the volume and the mute. Now just the pan is armed. So if I hit play, just the pan envelope is writing automation, not the volume or the mute. And we have automation in the lane. We could choose to disarm it, make it invisible. While it's still active, or make it inactive, even though it's still visible. So now these envelopes aren't gonna play, even though we see them because they're visible. We can make them active again, and now we see them and they're also active. We can rearm each one or disarm any of the ones we want. Now if our track has a send, let's create a new track down here and send this track to it. We can see over here, we now have send envelopes for volume, pan, and mute. And they'll show up in this window as well. And we can collapse it right here and the same up here. Now, if we have effects on our track, let's go to the effects on this track and let's add an EQ and a compressor. And now we can see down over here, we have envelopes for each one of our plugins, which you could expand and see every parameter we could automate. We could choose this one or this one and do the same with our compressor. Here's all the parameters we can automate for our threshold, our ratio, and so on. And if there's too many to see at once, we can close it up or collapse it right here. And for effects, in addition to active, visible, and arm, we could also have learn, modulate, and the show in track controls. So let's choose our EQ, go to the frequency low shelf, and we could choose to learn using this dialog and turning a knob on our MIDI controller to control through MIDI that parameter. We could also modulate right here using parameter modulation, add an LFO right over here to this envelope. And we could also see and control that parameter from the track control panel using the in-track controls right here. Then we could see it or adjust it over here or turn it off over here. Let's add another volume and pan envelope and draw it in. And now we could hide all the envelopes like this. We could show all the active ones. In this case, just volume and pan, 
arm or visible. So now they're both armed or disarm all. So none of the envelopes are armed for writing automation. Rearm them, hide them, show them, all from this dialog. And we could also filter each envelope by their name. Let's expand all the effects parameters so we could see them all. And we could search them by name. Type in dry, and we just see this envelope. Or type in wet, this one, or these two, or bypass. So you can quickly find the bypass for this effect, or this one, and automate that envelope. And we could also choose to see all envelopes or just the active ones. So now we're just seeing all the active ones we're using, the volume and pan down here. We'll go back to seeing all of them. We'll just view the last touched parameter in each effect. Now if we right click again, we can see this menu. This is where we chose to turn off auto close window, but we could also choose to expand all the effects parameters or collapse them all to make this neater, or choose the default when we open up this window. They can start off expanded, which is the default, or change it so all of them start off collapsed, which is my personal favorite. So if we remove all the effects and add them again, they start out in this window being collapsed. We can still open them up right here, or open all of them right here. Expand all effects parameters. Now there's another option right here that's going to target the envelope manager when clicking on the track button. And that's because there's two different types of the envelope manager. There's this one that only opens when we hit the track envelope button and only applies to that track and a global one that can apply to many tracks or items at the same time, based on if they're selected or not. So if we choose this option, hit this button, we get the other version, which looks pretty much the same, except there's a context option up here for this track, for selected tracks, or selected items. And we could also get this window if we go to the View menu, and choose the Envelope Manager. That also opens up this window where it works on selected tracks. And to make this easier to demonstrate, let's open up a different project. In this project, I have four tracks with the Envelope Manager open. If I select the first one, we can see I have some effects over here and the typical envelopes over here. Select the second one, and I have some different effects for delay and reverb, versus the EQ and compressor. And these two tracks, I don't have any effects on them. But because we're using selected tracks, we could select all of them, and notice just the envelopes that are in common show up. Or if I just choose the first one, we could see the effects over here, or this one. But with all of them selected, we just see the envelopes that all these tracks have in common. So this dialog behaves very dynamically, as it changes based on the track or tracks we select. So if we select them all and choose the volume envelope, now we can see the volume envelope for all the tracks. Or pan, or mute, and arm them all together, make them invisible, or make them inactive. For volume, pan, and any other envelopes that they have in common. But we can still choose just the first one and just change that one. Open the EQ and just see this envelope and it shows up over here. Or this one and so on. But if we choose all these tracks, we just see the envelopes that they all have in common. Unarm them, make them invisible, or make them inactive. And this will also work with items. 
So if I create some items over here, I could select all of them, change this to selected items. And now just a take envelopes for these items shows up. Open it up. We could do it just for this one or these two or all of them at the same time. We could activate the volume envelope for these items or takes, hide them or make them visible on pan, mute, and pitch on any items we're selecting at the time. So in this way, we could work on multiple items or tracks at the same time. And for that reason, you might want to keep this open all the time. And we could do that by right-clicking and docking this window, either at the top or the bottom or the sides. But now we have this window open all the time. So I could select this track. If we want to work on the volume envelope, we could do it right here. If we want to switch to the pan, do that right here. We'll work with multiple tracks at the same time. Select them all, choose volume, and work on the volume envelope for all these. We'll switch it to the pan and just see the pan envelope for all these tracks. Or we'll arm them all together, hide them or show them, make them active or not, all from this window. And if we don't want it docked, just right click it again. Unselect this option, and it's back to floating again. So that's pretty much it. That's the Envelope Manager in Reaper 7.1. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.